Well, it's been 26 years since Fountain Central won a state title. The Mustangs will have a chance to end that drought on Friday when FC takes on Central Catholic. Joe LePage takes us to Vetersburg for a school-wide pep rally. There was plenty of pep at Wednesday morning's rally for the Fountain Central football team. The entire school was there, from kindergarten to the senior class, to support this state-bound squad. The Mustangs are 14-0. A win Friday against Central Catholic would be historic. It would be the school's first state crown since 1983. That year was Rick Malone's first at FC. Well, that would just be phenomenal. I mean, it's, this, this is such a great experience for the, the school, the kids, the community, and this, this team, and the coaching staff. It's something we've worked very hard to get to, and it would just be a great experience to get to, to win another. This entire trophy case is dedicated to the 1983 championship team. Coach Malone says a win on Friday poses a wonderful problem making room for more hardware. There's a bit of irony as Fountain Central goes after its second ever crown. The quarterback on the 83 team was Brian Moore. His son Scott is the QB this season. We just got to go out and uh, play our game. Uh, just keep playing like we have all year. You know, uh, play as a family and as a team and uh, you know, we should be fine. It was exciting then, but as a dad right now, this is more exciting for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like being a coach and a dad, unbelievable. This is as much fun as I've ever had in athletics in my life. Fountain Central players and fans are hoping to add to this memorable season and play out this pep rally sword fight in real life with an upset win against the Knights. In Vetersburg, Joe LePage, News Channel 18. And tickets for Friday's contest have been a little bit hard to come by. The school sold 2,000 tickets in a day and a half, and Brian Moore expects even more Mustang backers to be at Lucas Oil Stadium in time for the game's kickoff. And, of course, we'll have coverage of the games on Friday. We will.